Hi, I'm Misty Velasky, and this is Ojai Valley News in depth. Joining me today is Hadi Lashkari from Ojai Valley Community Hospital. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Now, you recently took over as the Chief Administrative Officer at the Ojai Hospital. So tell us, what does that mean and what are your duties? Yeah, well, as the Chief Administrative Officer, I'm the on-site administrator at the hospital, located at the hospital. Uh, we still uh, we have a chief nursing officer that's the chief nursing officer in the health system. That's Bobby McCaffrey. Um, she is at the CMH campus, but also frequently visits uh, the Ojai Valley campus as well. But essentially, I'm the on-site administrator uh, at Ojai. Mm -hmm. And what sort of duties are, are fall under your role? I oversee some of the day-to-day -day operations uh, of the hospital, work directly with some of the department directors along with some of the um, other hospital staff. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest projects I've been working on is um, the development of our facility master plan, which I, yes. I think we're going to get into as well. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that. Um, you've got a lot of upgrades that have recently uh, been, been going on and lots planned. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of work that's occurred uh, at the Ojai Valley Community Hospital since the merger in 2005. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're preparing right now is our facility master plan, which is going to be the modernization and the aesthetic uh, renovation, both inside and out, of the Ojai uh, Valley Hospital, the acute care hospital, and uh, ho hopefully also the expansion of the CCC. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's going to be an approximately a $10 million project wow. over the next five years. And mm -hmm. so that's what we're in the process of developing right now. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of that is um, due to donations from local people, such as Chalant Spray gave quite a bit of money to upgrade the emergency room. So tell us how important are those donations? Where are they coming from? It, it's, it's huge. Uh, it's very important. I think it's where we're very fortunate being in the Ojai Valley um, and the, with the support of the foundation and the guild. Mm -hmm. um, where we've had a lot of the, the you know, the seed money of the Shalon Sprague money that, that really was the impetus of, of uh, relocating what was formerly an emergency room into uh, the development of an emergency de uh, emergency department, uh, you know, a six-bed department. And it would not have been possible without the support of the community and donors like uh, Shalon Spray. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, having been in the old ER where, you know, you're, it's a little bit tight and now it's it's very private and it's open. It's yeah. really a, quite an improvement. It's it's one of the things when I'm giving my, my tour uh, of folks that are visiting the hospital and I show them where we formerly had the emergency room and then I take them over to the new department. Um, it's amazing how we were able to provide such great care in a small space. Mm -hmm. And I think you, you, you hit it. Now it's... Uh, a new department. It's you have more privacy as you're coming in, um, and it's a wonderful department. Yeah, if you have to be somewhere, it's a good place to be. Absolutely. <laughs> and you have been with uh, the Community Memorial Health System under which Ojai falls for about ten years now. So before coming to Ojai, what were you doing with them? Well, I have been with the health system. It'll be ten years in October. Mm -hmm. I, I came on in two thousand one. I was doing an internship at the time. I. I was learning about healthcare administration, really not sure if I was uh, going to continue on either at CMH or uh, if I had an interest in healthcare administration, mm -hmm. and very quickly fell in love. Uh, I grew up in Ventura, and Community Memorial Hospital was the hospital of choice for me and my family growing up. My, my brother was born in that hospital, and uh, there was a huge sense of family and community, and it, I think it's what attracted me to, to really continue on and working in the organization. And uh, I, I went on as uh, an administrative assistant and on to an assistant administrator, assistant vice president, and um, you know took on more and more responsibilities and loved what I did, and I felt like I had a true impact in my community in improving um, the health care of the Very community. Cool. And so uh, when the opportunity came with OHI, I was blessed with that and am excited to be here. And so what, what type of background do you have? What kind of education? My undergraduate degree is in sociology and communication. I, I got a real estate license thinking at the time I wanted to go into real estate. Um, and I went on and got my master's in public administration. And I have a fellow at the American College of Healthcare Executives. Um, uh, which is with the American College of Healthcare Executives. Mm -hmm. So with that education, with the 10 years with CMHS, I'm sure you've seen a lot of different kinds of things over the years. So tell us, um, based on all of that, what makes Ojai so special? What's different about this hospital? Well, I think, first of all, is you, I, I think there's a lot of things that make Ojai special. One is, is the community that it serves. The community has been um, so supportive. Um, I came from Ventura. Ventura is a very supportive community, but I just the fact that 
Um, the community the community is so intimately involved uh, and in terms of giving feedback, but also supporting the hospital. I think the story of the hospital, one of the things that um, has just amazed me, um, the fact that it has a 51-year history and that it essentially started out, out with a for-profit history and the fact that it was the community that got together and purchased the hospital and took it down the direction of becoming a not-for-profit hospital is huge. Mm -hmm. And um, that community support is so evident in, in every day uh, as I run into community members in the community or as folks come and visit me or call me in the community and just share some, some feedback in terms of what we're doing well or what we can do to improve, it, that that community support is very unique. Mm -hmm. And um, all of that may not have been possible. Uh, several years ago, we decided as, as the Ojai Valley Community Hospital to join up with the CMHS system. So tell us, uh, how did that transition work? And could Ojai have survived without that transition? You know, it's, it's hard to say. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think it, it could be. It would have survived, uh, truthfully. Uh, the, you know, the merger occurred in 2005. I think the, the community purchased the hospitals just after 2000. And uh, it was being run as a private not-for-profit hospital where that you had essentially uh, you, you report up to the ch chief executive officer and the chief executive officer reports onto a board of trustees, uh, which are volunteers in the community that, that essentially sit on the board and, and direct the, the hospital from, from the board level. Mm -hmm. And I think at that time the, the, the hospital was faced with many challenges uh, that, that other hospitals in, in the state and in the nation are, are challenged with. And the board began to look around and see uh, what what other hospitals kind of comprised and shared a very similar vision and mission. And naturally, uh, Community Memorial Hospital was a good fit in that we were also a not-for-profit hospital, uh, community-owned, and and you know there are other not-for-profit hospitals in the community, but none where the 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 board actually is reflective of the community in which it serves. Uh, the members of the board sit on the are within the the community. And so it was a naturally a really good fit for the two uh, hospitals to come together. And so that's when the parent organization, Community Memorial Health System, was formed. And so we had a members of the Ojai Valley Community Hospital Board that joined the Community Memorial Hospital Board. Uh, Dr. Marty Pops uh, is the chairman of the board currently for the health system. Uh, he, he's an Ojai resident, former uh, board member of the Ojai Valley Community Hospital, uh, Mr. John Russell is, is, is also the, uh, a member of the Ojai Valley, a former member of the Ojai Valley board that sits on the Community Memorial Health System board now. And so it's, it's a very good fit. And so now Community Memorial Health System uh, is a parent organization for Ojai Valley Community Hospital, Community Memorial Hospital, and our Centers for Family Health, which are 10 ambulatory clinics uh, throughout western Ventura County. Very cool. And uh, another thing that makes Ojai special, of course, is the CCC, the Continuing Care Center. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Well, the Continuing Care Center is a, a distinct part skilled nursing facility. It's a 66-bed uh, licensed skilled nurse, nursing facility. I think what's so unique there is is that while we're licensed to 66 beds, we run very full. Um, it's, you know, it's consistently full. Uh, we have provide wonderful care um, there, both for our residents and our rehab patients that come through at the location. And I think as part of our facility master plan, that's going to be one of the uh, areas that we're really looking to to expand to mm. meet the needs in the future. Very cool. Now, speaking of expansions, uh, you know, the perennial question in Ojai is when are you going to let us have babies in, in the Ojai <laughs> Hospital again? So is there any plans to bring that it's, back? It's one of the most uh, asked questions, I, <laughs> I, I think, uh, you know, with the exception of I, when the road closure occurred, I think it was the last time we had a delivery mm -hmm. uh, in, in Ojai, and um, there's no, and not in the foreseeable future. Uh, I think with the, with the support that's required in order to run a uh, OB program, uh, we, we just, I don't think the demand's there currently in, in the Ojai Valley, so we'll continue to, to serve that through, through Community Memorial Hospital. Mm -hmm. But if there's an emergency, you guys can handle it. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you have lots of events coming up. We um, do. You have two things actually coming up here, Beach Ball and uh, the State of the Hospital. That's right. Uh, we have the State of the Hospital address that's going to be uh, May 19th. It's at the St. Thomas Aquinas Church. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, refreshments will start at 4.45 at 5 p.m. Uh, 
Gary Wilder, our president and CEO, and myself are going to be doing a State of the Hospital address, sharing with the community uh, where we ended the financial year last year and the direction we're heading this year, as well as some of the plans for the modernization of the new hospital. Mm -hmm. And the Beach Ball, of course. Yes. A very fun event. Beach Ball is a very fun event. It's put together by the, the Foundation Guild. And uh, this year it, it is on May 14th. It's from 6 to 10 p.m. It is also at the St. Thomas Aquinas Church Hall. We're being led by our magnificent uh, co-chairs, Nita Whaley and Don Anderson are helping uh, lead this this year. And the money's, we raise approximately $30,000 every year. And we're excited because the money is going to go towards a new scope for our surgery department this Great. year. Great. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, Hattie, thank you very much thank for you. being here. We appreciate it. I'm Misty Velasky. This is Hadi Lashkari. This has been Ojai Valley News In Depth.